Hi everyone, this is Ada. Welcome back to my channel and as you can see by the title, I am doing a tag today. And this tag is an amazing tag, it's so much fun. So the tag is if I had $5,000 and I was starting a designer handbag collection, what would I add to my collection? So what would I choose? So this tag was created by Gwenny by, let me get her channel right, Gwenny from Style by Gwenny. And the fabulous Irene from Fabulous Irene. So check out their channels. And I was tagged by the lovely Megan from Train Girl Megan. So also check out her channel. Thank you for tagging me, Megan. So this took a lot of research actually, and it was quite hard. Now I started my designer handbag collection about eight years ago, and I'm sure 5,000 would have gone further. So this is very hard to actually do. And the fun part is I got to research handbags. So I have taken this tag or this um, handbag collection from my point of view at the moment, um, my age, where I live, and basically my lifestyle, my climate, the climate as well. So the first bag I have chosen because I am a boho girl through and through, it is my style that I love to dress. I have chosen the Chloe Darrell saddlebag in the Motti Grey because the Motti Grey, which is a funny name, is a neutral and I thought the shape, my boho dressing or my style and this bag would just be a great daytime bag. So that was the first bag and that bag comes in at $1,790. These are all Australian dollars for me because I live in Australia and I found that was available on Farfetched. So that was number one. Number two is another Chloe bag. So it's a Chloe Marcy woven basket bag. So it's like one of the, you know, the summer bags that if you're going to the beach, you're going to a picnic. Um, and I live in a subtropical climate. And really, I've been wanting to add one of those bags to my collection for a while. I haven't done it. So it's sort of just given me a bit of a, a nudge um, to maybe look for one. That one, like I said, was Chloe. It was available on Farfetched again, and that came in at $780. It was a white one, um, so it was cane or straw, whatever you call it, and then it had a white sort of leather bit with leather handles, if I remember correctly, um, or a tan color, so I'd go for the white. Number three, I wanted to add a tote bag to my collection if I was starting out, because I think every girl needs a tote bag. Tote bags are great if you're going to the airport, in a car, Uber, taxi, just if you want to carry more things. And I have picked Coach. So Coach has some amazing bags for the price. And I have picked the Willow Tote Bag by Coach, which is 550 Australian dollars. That was available from the Coach uh, site, the Australian site. And there was a couple of colors. There was a black or a contrast color. I would have been happy with either. So that's number three. Number four is a bag that I have been considering adding to my collection for a while. And it is by YSL. And it is the, I think it's the Kate Clutch Bag by YSL. It's um, black with a gold YSL monogram. And I've picked this because at my stage of my life, I go out a bit at night time. Have date night with my hubby and I thought that would be a perfect bag which I still would like to add to my collection and that bag was $1,530. So I am down to number five with not much money left. So I sort of looked at pouches and I decided with the amount of money I had left I was going to add um, a card holder and I had a look at Fendi they were a bit expensive but I went to one of my brands that I haven't bought for a while and that is Burberry. I love the checkered print of the Burberry. I like the, the history behind the fashion label. So I have picked the Burberry check and leather card case which is sort of like a vintage sort of look with the uh, check from Burberry and that came in at $280. So when I added it all up my total of my five purchases was $4,930. I had $70 left and I'm going to put that into my bank account, a bank account and add that $70 to my next purchase. Because every girl knows that when you start buying designer or you start a handbag collection, you can't have too many. So that's what I'm going to do. I've done the best I can and I've tried to spread the love around with the labels I've picked. 
So thank you once again, girls, for coming up with this tag and Megan for tagging me. And I look forward to everyone else and let's just see what everyone else buys. Don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style. I'll see you again next time. Bye. If you like this video, please subscribe, push like and follow me on Instagram. And don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style. I'll see you again next time. Bye.